Hi, I'm Miyuko Miki from Honeyberry Studios. I'm going to show you how to draw cats using Pigma Professional Brush Pen. I love cats. When I was little, I used to think about cats pretty much 24-7. Okay, I still think about them a lot. They're my favorite animals. I'd like to show you how to draw cats with the Pigma Professional Brush Pen today. I like the bold lines of these brush pens, and it's more portable and convenient than carrying around a brush and ink. They come in three sizes, bold, medium, and fine. In this video, we're going to draw with a medium brush pen. I like to use reference images to draw these cats, since it might be hard to sketch them live while they're moving around. You can snap a photo of your cats or do an image search online to find a few images of cats you'd like to draw. I'm going to draw my black kitty Sheppy first. When I draw cats and other animals, I want their personality to come through. Be paying attention to what makes your cat special. How big are their ears? What shape are their eyes? Are they long haired or short haired? Do they have interesting patterns and colorings? Do they have a round face or a skinny face? Is there an expression that defines their personality? Okay, so we'll start with his ears. And we'll draw the outline of his face. His face is pretty compact. And then his eyes. His eyes are pretty big. You can play with different pupil sizes for your cat. Larger pupils make them look more curious, and smaller pupils make them look more mysterious. And then his nose, and then his mouth. Okay, let's draw some fire in his ears. I'm all about drawing clean and simple images, so I try not to overdo it. We'll fill in the outside of his ears with black. For his face, Instead of just coloring the space with solid black, we'll give it some texture with the brush pen strokes. His fur is really silky and shiny, and this will add more warmth to this black and white drawing. Look at your kitty's face and see which directions the fur is growing. And you can draw the fur in different directions to give it an interesting movement and some depth. We'll fill them in with more brush strokes to make it darker. I want his facial features to pop, so we'll leave some white space around them. Okay, next we're going to draw a gray and white tabby. Her ear is a little bigger, and her face is a little rounder. Her eyes are pretty round as well. I'll make her pupils a little bigger too. Put her nose right here. Her mouth is a bit smaller. We'll draw a line on her face to outline the different colorings she has. Once the outline is done, we'll go back to the ears and add some details. And then we'll add some of her tabby patterns with thick black lines. This doesn't need to be exact. I'll add some fur texture here. I love the fancy eyeliners these tabby cats have. And the patterns are usually symmetrical, so you draw the same pattern for the right and the left side of her face. A little line for her pink nose. I'll add a couple more black patterns here, and more fur texture around the patterns. and around her mouth and nose too. Oh, and let's add more eyeliners here. Okay, next we're going to draw a black and white cat. He's a big kitty with big ears and a sort of a white face. His eyes and nose. 
So again, I'll draw a line to separate his black parts from the white. He's a hefty guy, so I'll give him a double chin here. Let's add some fur in his ears. And we'll go ahead and fill the black more densely for this guy, so the contrast with the white part is more distinct. Give him a black nose, and let's fill in his mustache too. Oh, and he has a little black over his mouth too. And let's give some more texture here. Okay, so let's try and draw a long-haired kitty next. My friend has a gorgeous cat that looks like a smaller version of Maine Coon cat. His ears are really big, and he's definitely all fur. So we'll cover his face with long fur, his eyes a little skinnier, his nose here, and we'll give him a little smile here. His face is actually pretty small, so I'll give him a chin line to define the face a little better. Outside of his ears are pretty dark, and he's got pretty ear tafts going on, and long hair in his ears too. Just like the gray and white tabby cat we drew earlier, we'll simplify his patterns on his forehead. Add some fur here, and let's not forget his pretty eyeliners, and fill in his face with more fur. Let's add in some darker spots here and there. He's got beautiful gray shades all over. Let's add in just a little more details. And we're done! I hope you enjoyed drawing cats with me today. I hope to see you again soon. Bye!